Hi guys, and welcome to another video with me, Shira Star Hobby. My beautiful A-Zone girls are back from At May Be A Werewolf. They arrived last Saturday, right before I was about to leave for my doll day with Allison, so I haven't really had a chance to play with them a whole lot. Um, they also needed wigs, and so um, yesterday and basically this whole morning, I have spent styling the girls and getting them ready for this video. I wanted to do um, like a backdrop or a backstory of who they were when they started here at my house and then <laughs> who they became. Um, so my very first girl was this girl and she is an A-Zone Pure Nemo character series, Chika Fujiwara from the anime called Kaguya-sama Love is War. And uh, I'm gonna move her to the side so I can add some photos over here in the empty spot. <laughs> so this is what she looked like before. Um, you can see that her facial expression is completely different from what she was. Not to mention she had pink hair. And the anime is really cute. Her character is really cute. And I did have her in her original outfit, which is the school uniform. And I had her like that for maybe like a month or two, but I got bored with her. And um, and I love her body because she's on the new emotion body and she's uh, a, a size medium slash large emotion body. So she's, you know, a little bit bigger and a little bit bustier than the um, regular A-Zone Pure Nemo small emotion body. Not to mention she's in the white skin, which she's really fair and I love it. So I was scrolling through Instagram and one of my favorite artists who I've said this before, her name is, well, her Instagram handle is at Ladowska. And um, if you like anime art, you should follow her because she is amazing. And so I chose some of her artwork for all three girls. They are all based on artwork that At Ladowska has posted on her Instagram. So I will show you that here. And even though, you know, she doesn't look exactly like she does in the artwork, she resembles her. And of course, I would like to eventually make them all wigs that match the artwork because I think that would be amazing as well. Um, I really need to get on my hair buying game. I haven't bought any, you know, hair for wig making in a while. So I'm going to have to start looking for some really fun, bright colors so I can attempt wigs like in this artwork. But anyway, so like I said before, um, you know, she's on the new emotion body and she actually came with all of these extra hands as well, which is really amazing. That's another reason why I love the emotion bodies is because they have all of these extra hands. Um, so that was really cool. And of course, all of my A-Zone girls, because they are Japanese, I give them all Japanese names. This girl, because her hair is lavender, I chose the Japanese word for lavender, which is ravenda. And so that is who she is now. And she's very fun. And she's the oldest of the group because she is on the older body. Um, I don't really have an age for them, but they're just, I'm gonna say they're all like sisters or best friends or something. <laughs> and they're just the cutest girls. And I really love how she turned out. I mean, this face up. Look at that. It's incredible. If you don't follow at maybe a werewolf, she 
you you really should. Um, not only is she a fan of the BTS boys, she has made her own custom BTS Nendroids, which turned out amazing. Um, and she does resin face-ups too. Um, she is an art teacher, so she does have a day job. But um, if you you know are really interested in her work for your BJD or vinyl, because she does vinyl. And, um, you know, you should just reach out to her and see what she's, you know, what she's willing to take on right now. She worked, you know, on my girls over the period of maybe three to four weeks. I didn't rush her. I gave her time. Um, I knew she was busy. She's also, you know, she has a, her own personal life. Um, kids, I think she's got kids maybe. Um, so anyway, this is Ravinda. And she turned out amazingly. My next girl, um, actually, both of these girls were gifts to me from um, at K Pixie Wings, um, otherwise known as Kelly. She's my Kelly, and I love her. And so she had originally bought these because at the time I had a bunch of them. I had a bunch of A Zone Emotion Girls. And the clothing is fantastic. You know, Azone International makes some seriously amazing doll clothes. The quality is superb. So she had bought a couple of them from Iris at Fabric Friends and Dolls. Um, she is the, you know, legit dealer for Azone here in the U.S. And so this girl started off her life as an Azone Pure Nemo x Cute Ica Wicked Style number four. And you can see in the photo that I post next to her um, that she had that full set outfit with the black stockings. Sometimes those black stockings will stain the vinyl slash plastic. And that is what happened with this girl. The staining isn't really all that bad. Like you can't really see it you know, but it's there. And that happens to a lot of A-Zone dolls, believe it or not. So you can see in the picture, her original picture, how completely different she looked. Um, and so again, I chose a piece of artwork uh, to have her based on. And she just, oh, I adore her, especially her eyes. Look at the colors in her eyes. They go from dark blue to like a, a yellow to like a, another blue. I mean, the detail work that she put into these girls blows my mind. So I am so absolutely thrilled with how she turned out. I named her Momoido, which is the Japanese word for pink. Um because, you know, she, most of her hair is pink. She does have some uh, blue in there, some blonde and some purples. Um, but these dolls, even though they are emotion body dolls, they don't come with extra hands. They only come with extra healed feet. Um, so you can buy the separate hand packs, um, but you have to get the right skin color because, you know, Azone produces the white skin, which you saw on my Chica slash Ravenda, and then this girl is called um, Natural. This is like a, the, the natural color. This is what most of them are produced in. The white skin doesn't happen very often, and the tan skin doesn't happen very often, so most of the A-Zone Pure Nemo girls come in this natural skin color. So moving on to my third and final girl. She began her life as a A-Zone Pure Nemo Execute 12th Series Snotty Cat Corone. Um, and she is probably one of the most popular amongst the Azone Pure Nemo dolls. And I think it's because of her outfit, like details and the quality is amazing. She had the little beanie hat. Um, she is like really, really cute. And so um, 
you know, she was also sent to me by, by at K Pixie Wings. And um, I was able to give her a new life here. Um, she is not stained at all. She is perfectly perfect. Um, I chose, you know, some artwork, like I said, from at Ladowska to have her painted. And oh, I just love her. <laughs> I mean, look at that side glance. Like that is just so perfect. And I pierced her ears and I adore her so very much. This wig was not what I was intending for her, but I was recently inspired by a wig that I saw on Instagram by at Tiki Peach Tree, I think is her handle. Um, and <laughs> she had done the fishtail braid um, on her doll. She had made the wig and, you know, fishtail braided it. And I was like, ooh, I want to try that. And so I did. And I left it really long because, you know, sometimes anime girls have like this ridiculously long, gorgeous hair that somehow never seems to get in the way or never seems to get messy. It's just always flawless and beautiful <laughs> and so I said I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna give her these long braids and I did and she looks fantastic so again she's also in the natural skin color by a zone and she also came with the extra high heeled feet but no extra hands so um, it's just so exciting for me to have these girls, uh, because they are special, you know, they were gifts. Two of them were gifts. One of them I bought for, for myself, but I, but she kind of started my whole, um, customize it, you know, customizing, um, a zone collection. It was, you know, she was the beginning and I was just thrilled to bits with how she turned out. And I was like, des these, I was, I figured these other girls were destined to join as well. So they are wearing a variety of things. Um, all of the Wonder Woman tops are Barbie fashion pack items. Um, that's a Barbie skirt that I sewed I did like a simple stitch in the back so that I can easily just cut it and take it off this skirt and this skirt are both creatable world skirts these are curvy slash tall Barbie shoes plus she's got Barbie headphones and a Barbie phone um, these are also creatable world shoes which are my favorite for them and if you've heard of the Wild Hearts Crew doll line, the shoes are amazing on the A-Zone girls as well. So they can wear a variety of things. Um, they can probably even wear some like Ruruko stuff. Um, Creatable World is probably one of the better um, options because they have the large fashion packs that come with shoes and several um, items, you know, several pieces that you can mix and match. So, um, if you have any questions about, um, you know, dressing them or wigging them or things like that, um, just leave me a comment below. I, I hope that you guys love these girls. I know it's been a hot minute since you've seen them. Um, I only did one video, um, on Ravenda and it was a, a dress up video and it was kind of dark and it was one of my first videos, so it wasn't the greatest. Um, and so I wanted to do a new one for you guys and have you see them with their new faces and their new hairs and their cute outfits and just, you know, let you in on a little bit more of my doll world. So like I said before, please like, comment, um, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all the new followers. You guys are amazing. Um, please let me know if you want some more information on, you know, A-Zones 
I don't know a whole lot, but I know enough, I think, that I could probably help you out. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and we will see you all next time. Bye.